If I run over there, God is everywhere And He loves me When I look up, 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 I know He's real When I look down, 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 I believe what I found When I look in God's Word and I search for Him He rewards me Cause He loves me loves me, he can do anything. If I run over here, if I run over there, God is everywhere, and he loves me. When I look up, 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 I know he's real. When I look down, 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 I believe what I found. When I look in God's word and I search for him, he rewards me, cause he He's real when I look down, down, down I believe what I found When I look in God's word And I search for Him He rewards me Cause He loves me Cause He loves me Cause He loves me Hey boys and girls, it's me, Pastor Steven, and welcome to another Preschool Chapel. Man, do I have a great story for you guys today. We're continuing to work through the book of Genesis, and today we'll be in Genesis chapter 29 through 30. Can you say Genesis 29 through 30? Very good. Well, we're going to continue the story of Jacob. Remember last week we talked about Jacob and his brother Esau? Well, man, Jacob is in trouble because he tricked his brother. He had to run away from home because his brother was threatening to hurt him really bad. He was scared. So he went to go stay with his uncle Laban. And his uncle Laban put him to work doing all types of things. And there, Jacob met two very special people, Rachel and Leah, two sisters that also had a little bit of trouble with one another. And that's where our story picks up for today. So let's go see what happens with Jacob as he meets Rachel, Leah, and what happens with his uncle Laban. Let's read it together. There were once two sisters. The youngest sister was very beautiful and her name was Rachel. But the oldest sister wasn't beautiful at all. Some thought her quite ugly. And her name was Leah. Rachel was the kind of girl who always gets invited to parties and chosen for the team. Everyone loved her. And poor Leah. No one hardly even noticed her. One day, their cousin Jacob came to stay. He was one of Isaac's sons, and he was on the run. Jacob had stolen and cheated and made some enemies, including his own brother, and now he was hiding. The funny thing is, Jacob, of all people, was the one God gave the special promise to, the same promise he had given his grandfather Abraham. I will rescue the world through your family. But then again, God chooses people we least expect, as we'll see. Jacob stayed a long time working for his uncle Laban. One day, Laban said, Jacob, I've decided to pay you for your work. What do you want? A sudden thought struck him. How about one of my daughters, Laban said. Jacob looked at Rachel and he looked at Leah. Who would he choose? Of course, he chose Rachel. I'll work for seven years for free, Jacob said, if I can marry Rachel. So Jacob worked seven years, and at last his, his wedding day arrived. But that night, Laban played a really nasty trick on Jacob. Instead of sending Rachel to marry Jacob, he sent Leah. Now in those days, they didn't have electricity, and it was so dark in their tent. And besides, women wore veils, and you couldn't see their faces properly. So Jacob sus suspected nothing. The next morning, Jacob woke up and screamed. His new wife was lying beside him, but it wasn't Rachel. It was Leah. Jacob jump jumped out of bed. Laban, he cried, you scoundrel. But Laban said, work for me another seven years, and then you can marry Rachel. So Jacob worked for Laban another seven years, and at last, Rachel became his wife. Now Jacob had two wives. But of his two wives, Jacob loved Rachel the best. Now, boys and girls, 
Really quickly, before we continue reading the story, I just want to let you know that even though Jacob had two wives, this isn't a part of God's design. God's design for marriage is one man plus one woman for life. That's God's design. Now, because we live in a fallen world, that design doesn't always get fo uh, followed perfectly, even by God's people. But I wanted you to know what God's design was. Let's continue our story. No one loves me, Leah said. I'm too ugly. But God didn't think she was ugly. And when he saw that Leah was not loved and that no one wanted her, God chose her to love her specially, to give her a very important job. One day, God was going to rescue the whole world through Leah's family. Now when Leah knew that God loved her in her heart, suddenly it didn't matter anymore whether her husband loved her the best or if she was the prettiest. Someone had chosen her. Someone did love her with a never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love. So when Leah had a baby boy, she called him Judah, which means this time I will praise the Lord. And that's just what she did. And you'll never guess what job God gave Leah. You see, when God looked at Leah, he saw a princess. And sure enough, that's exactly what she became. One of Leah's children's children's children would be a prince, the prince of heaven, God's son. The prince would love God's people. They wouldn't need to be beautiful for him to love them. He would love them with all of his heart. And they would be beautiful because he loved them, like Leah. Well, boys and girls, that's our story. And there's so many important things to remember. But I think the most important thing to remember about today's story is that God loves us, not because we're beautiful on the outside and not even because we're beautiful on the inside sometimes, because we are also uh, all sinners and do the wrong thing from time to time. No, God loves us because of who he is and not who we are. And the closer we draw closer to God and love him, we're changed by his love and we become more like the people he wants us to be. This was true of Leah. It's true of Jacob and Rachel as well. It's true of all of God's people. Anyone who puts their faith and trust in Jesus will become more like him and his love will change them and he'll, they'll become more like the people God wants them to be. Well, guys, I hope you had a great chapel and I hope you enjoyed our story. Stay tuned for next week when we learn about Jacob's son, Joseph, and what happened with him and his many brothers. God bless and take care.